One of the most popular Striper plugs over the past few years has been the Daiwa Salt Pro Minnow. It's a fairly simple minnow plug. It has an internal sliding weight that adds casting distance, has a hard plastic body, and a great action in the water. It's become kind of the go-to bait for striper fishermen from those guys who are just getting started to guys who've been doing it for decades. One question a lot of fishermen have about the Salt Pro Minnow is how should they rig the hooks? The stock hooks and split rings are fine for schoolies and small keepers, but if you're going to target larger fish, you may want to beef up your hardware. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to show you some of the different rigging options for the Salt Pro Minnow and then show you some underwater video of how each one swims uh, rigged in that way. So one of the first ways I ever rigged the Salt Pro Minnow is I replaced, first off, you have to replace the split rings. Uh, the stock split rings will open up on you. I went with Roscoe 80 pound test swivels. And while there are much heavier swivels out there, you could go with the triple ones like the Wolverines, the Roscoe 80 pound test ones are perfectly fine for this uh, application. And for the hook, I went with a VMC size 106X. So 10 is pretty close to the size that you have as the stock treble hook there, but the 6X strength is going to be a lot beefier and much less likely to twist open. You will see this has a little bit of a dampening effect on the swimming action, but it still looks pretty good in the water. Another option is to go with a size 204X VMC. So this is a slightly larger hook then comes on the stock uh, SP Minnow, but it's less likely to bend out. Might give you a little bit better hookup percentage, but you can see it's going to have a slightly uh, larger effect on the action. Over the past couple years, more fishermen have been trying out these inline single hooks uh, for their plugs. And what that is, is basically just a J hook, but it has the line tie twisted to the side, so it's gonna sit a little bit better on plugs, you know, with a split ring on there, so you can see that. The hook here is facing forward, and then I have the, the second one rigged so it's going up on the back. So you have uh, pretty much all your bases covered. You're not going to miss uh, that many more fish by using this setup. And it's much lighter in weight than the 2.0 or the 106X option. So you're gonna have a minimal effect on the swimming action of the plug. And the last option is, uh, I've heard guys call this the canal style. This is what a lot of guys will do to the Seville stick shad when they're fishing it in the canal. What you're doing is you're adding a heavy duty split ring to the belly hook hanger on the plug, adding a barrel swivel to that split ring, and then adding a cut 2.0 or 3.0 treble hook. And what this does is avoid one of the weak points on the SP Minnow. Because it has a fixed hook hanger, if you catch enough fish on it, they're able to torque that hook hanger and it'll eventually twist and break. So by adding a swivel in there, the fish aren't able to get any torque uh, on the plug so they're not going to bend that that hook hanger there and also for a little bit extra action and a little more size guys will put a hookless flag on the tail so even though you're sacrificing a tail hook here most strivers are going to hit a bait at the head so you're not going to miss that many fish and one benefit to using a single treble as opposed to two is the hooks won't work against each other quite often a striper will get hooked with the belly hook and then the the uh, rear hook will hook it somewhere in the gill plate or on top of the head, and those hooks will work against each other and eventually fall out. So this is a great option if you're targeting bigger fish uh, with your SP minnows or fishing in heavy current, like the Cape Cod Canal or maybe an inlet. As you can see, it uh, definitely has a little bit different action from the original underwater. It seems to catch uh, very well.